you ever post a street time in Discord, chances are someone immediately asks, what time is that for me? So today I'm going to show you how to post the times the right way so that everyone in your server sees the correct time in their time zone using Discord's built-in Unix timestamp system. Now I get it, Unix time sounds nerdy, but it's simple, it just counts the second since January 1st, 1970. The reason why this is, is the first time a computer got turned on was 1970, so that starts the Unix time line. Discord uses this to let you create a dynamic timestamp that automatically adjusts per the user. That means no more timestamp math, Discord will just do it for you. Now you have a couple different options here, so there's two different websites, both will get you the same options. You have unixtimestamp.com, and then you have the epochconverter.com. Both of them work the exact same way, and they will get you a Unix time. I prefer the Unix website, so we'll be doing this one. Now let's say we wanted to do 9.30, so all you have to do is fill in the column for 30 minutes. 9 p.m. translates to 2100 hours. We already have the date and time set. Then you click on the Convert button right here. This is going to give you the Unix timestamp. So all we have to do is copy this, and then you might be thinking all you have to do is paste it in. Why is the dodge working? Well, you need to do a little bit of coding. It's not going to be complicated, I promise you. Now this is the stage where we have a couple different options here. So for this exact same time, we're going to show three different examples and it will be the exact same time appearing. So this is going to be the longest method. So you're going to copy it in and you're going to have an F, which is going to be your format at the very end of the message. This will show you July 21st, 2025 at 9.30 PM. Once again, the full readout code, and then an F, and then it bracketed it off. Now, if you want to do it a little bit differently, you want to have it shorthand so it just shows you the date and time, we can do two T's, which will show 9.30 PM. So once again, this one is going to be and basically that's going to translate no matter what time zone you're in if you hover over it it'll tell you the exact date and time now last but not least there is one more method but this one's going to be a little bit more sensitive to caps compared to the other ones so if we paste it in here we're actually going to need to have a capital r now your colons are always going to be needing to be on the number side notice that they group things together and then you'll have your alphabetical letters on the opposite side and then you'll finish it off with a closing bracket so that'll show in six hours, and the code for that is going to be very specific. You need to make sure that it's capitalized or else it's not going to work. So we can try the same example just to show you guys in lowercase. For some reason, the rest of them work just fine, but this one in particular has to be caps or it just won't work at all. So now that we have that all said and done, there's one more thing that I should state. January 19th, 2038. There's going to be a serious issue for all computers, and this is also going to affect this same method, so you'll be good for at least a few years. But on this date and time, it's basically going to have too much numeric data for a 32-bit system, so it's either going to be crashing or they're going to have to put a band-aid on the Unix system to allow it to temporarily adopt a 64-bit system. So possibly all your computers will stop working on January 19th, 2038. So that'll be interesting. It'll be the next Y2K. So that you can post your stream times, guild events, and raids, and no one has to ask what time it is anymore. If you want to go further into automatically posting your patch notes or blog updates into your server, I've got a video that's coming soon to show you exactly how to do that. Like and subscribe if this saved you a headache. I'm Acid Jurassic, and I'll see you guys in the next one.